Conversion Tracking Setting up conversion tracking is an essential step in advertising as it provides information about how users are engaging with your ad and how profitable your campaigns are. Conversion tracking also allows you to enable other useful features, such as bidder and variation optimization. ExoClick offers two ways of conversion tracking, through server-to-server -server or through pixel. In this video tutorial, we will explain both methods. Creating a conversion tracking goal. The first step in conversion tracking, regardless of the method you are using, is to create a goal in the admin panel. In order to do this, click on Campaigns Conversion Tracking, then click on New Conversion Goal. First, set a name for the goal that you will recognize easily. Next, choose a conversion value from the drop-down. This parameter is important because we will use it to determine what payout you get every time a conversion is generated. No value means no amount will be associated with the goal when logged. Fixed allows you to set up the value manually. Dynamic means the value will be sent dynamically by your tracking software whenever you register a conversion. Finally, set the order number. This value helps you organize your goals in the admin panel in case you have multiple goals. Since this is the first goal we are creating, we will leave it as it is. Once you have created your goal, you will get the instructions to integrate it for server-to-server -server tracking and pixel tracking. Server-to-server -server tracking. You should use server-to-server -server tracking when you are notifying your conversions to a third-party server, like an affiliate platform, or when you are using a tracking solution to double-check your results. Although there might be some differences in your integration depending on what software you are using, this video will cover the basic steps that are shared by all third-party solutions. Step 1, adding the conversions underscore tracking tag to the campaign URL. The first step for server-to-server -server tracking is to add the conversion underscore tracking to all your campaign URLs. This is important because the conversions underscore tracking tag will generate a string that contains all the details about the user who generated the conversion. When adding this dynamic tag, you should precede it by the parameter that your tracking solution uses to identify conversions or click IDs. In this example, we used AFSUB, but please double-check with your affiliate platform or tracking solution to find out which parameter you should use. When a customer clicks on your ad, we will populate this conversion tracking token with a unique ID. Here is how this unique ID looks like. You will add this ID to your post back URL in order to notify the conversion. Note that this ID has a minimum length of 150 characters and a maximum of 700 characters, so please make sure you are able to receive and return the complete string. Step 2. Creating the Postback URL. The Postback URL is the link through which Exoclix server connects with your software. The structure of the Postback URL is provided to you in the admin panel after you have created the conversion goal. You need to copy this URL and paste it in the corresponding field from your affiliate platform or tracking solution. After that, you will have to change the conversions underscore tracking by the parameter provided by your platform. Usually, this parameter is the same one you use to define conversions underscore tracking in the campaign URL. Also, if you are using a goal with dynamic value, make sure to add as well in value to your postback in order to pass the value of the conversion. Your affiliate platform should provide you with the dynamic tag that passes this information. Once you have added the postback URL in your platform and start running your campaigns, you should be able to see conversions reflected in both platforms. Note that postback URLs are unique for 24 hours, meaning that a postback URL with the conversions tracking string could register duplicate conversions if called on different days. Pixel Tracking Pixel tracking offers a much simpler integration, as long as you have access to the HTML of the website you want to track. In order to do pixel tracking, simply grab the code we provide in the admin panel and paste between the body tags of your website. You can check whether the pixel is working correctly by inspecting the website. If you see the pixel images being generated, then it means that the pixel is working correctly. When using pixel tracking, we recommend creating multiple goals so as to track the various steps of your campaign funnel. For example, you could add a pixel on your prelander, another one during checkout and one last one after the purchase. Doing this setup can be very helpful to determine your user's behavior, which is valuable information that can be later reused to set up retargeting campaigns. Benefits from using conversion tracking 
Once you start tracking conversions, you will be able to see them in your campaign results in your statistics. You can also check the effective cost per action, which determines how much you paid for each conversion, as well as the conversion rate. If you enabled fixed or dynamic value in your conversion goals, you will also be able to measure the revenue, profit, and return on investment. Lastly, in order to take full advantage of conversion tracking, consider enabling bidder in your campaigns, which can help you optimize your campaigns and bids based on the conversions you received. This will be explained in more detail in a different video. Thanks for watching this video.